room. I work in year two at Delft School part time. Um, I'm going to be using the two Eskimos reading assessment app over the next few months. Okay, so I'm ready to start my first um, go at the reading session now. So here I've got the app on um, this iPad. I've got the pupil here ready to read for me. So off you go when you're ready. Dinosaurs lived long before there were any people on Earth. The world was warm and wild. So I'm just going to go through the comprehension questions now. What have dinosaurs left behind? Their fossils. Brilliant. So now when I go on this, I can give a comprehension score. So very, very thoroughly, uh, answered thoroughly there. So I've done that. And then I just press save at the top here. And then that's saved successfully. And then I can go on and look at that after. Okay, so I'm here for round two of using the Two Eskimos Reading Assessment app. I'm going to go for the same text that I did last time. And off you go. Dinosaurs lived long before... Oh, hang on, stop there a sec. And I've just done it again, make sure I press. There we go, right, off you go. Dinosaurs lived long before there were any people on the earth. There are no dinosaurs left, only their fossils. Very much. I'm just going to press stop on there now. You can press save at the top, and that has saved successfully. And that will now be on the assessment system on my computer. So I've just finished my second attempt at the reading assessment app, which um, went a lot better this time. One thing I found really useful about this session was afterwards I went back through, and because I'd remembered to record it, I then listened back once the people had gone and I was able to put in any other colour codes um, for the mystery analysis part, any that I'd missed, which was really useful. Okay, I've been using the Two Eskimos Reading Assessment app for about a term and a half now, so let's have a look at how I'm getting on. Oh, here you go. Rob doesn't like being a robot. What do you think Rob does next? So at the end of the story, what do you think he might do next? Go and sail with the sailors. Fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to give a comprehension score now, um, and then we save, and that saves successfully, and that will be on the website for me now. Okay, so now I've done my reading assessment, I've come on to the um, website, I've logged in, and then straight away the latest assessments come up here. Um, if I scroll down, you can see previous assessment I've done here shows four different types of errors that that child makes so, made. So you can see that they did three substitutions, three hesitations, and a couple of self-corrections and others. So that shows nice and clearly in that pie chart. Uh, so I'll just click on the one that I've done today. So he just made hesitations. Um, it brings up a copy of the text here and all the errors that I marked. And then it also tells you their reading rate, 110 words per minute, the duration of the recording, uh, the comprehension score and the accuracy. And you can also play and listen back. Like being a robot. The okay. audio, which is great. I really like that because it's good evidence to have a recording of, of their fluency. Uh, you can also go into reports at the side here. Uh, go into the learner portfolio, which is what I was just on, or the year group expected progress report or the book band reports. So I've been using Two Eskimos Reading Assessment for almost um, an academic year now. Um, I found it really useful, particularly being a year two teacher in the lead up to SATs. Uh, I absolutely love how quick it is. The fact that it's less than five minutes per child. With some children it's way less than five minutes per child. It's really quick. It uploads instantly. You don't have to make thorough in-depth notes. It's all there for you. You can listen back to it really easily and it's just a great way of storing that information um, and having it readily available to look back on. Um, I've really enjoyed using it this year and I'm looking forward to using it again next year.